let me lead you on to the next session, which is Ideate, Innovate, Leap in conversation with Sophia. And it will be best if you hear about this from our moderator himself. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Alok Ramsasarya, <laughs> CEO, Gracity Interactive, and Chief Mentor, Ty. Evening, folks. All charged up. You know, as uh, when we started Thai in 2003, and as past president, you know, I've had the good fortune. I think at Thai and ISP, we've had the good fortune of hosting, you know, leading entrepreneurs in the world, speakers, authors, ambassadors, chief ministers, chief secretaries, directors of STPI, you name it. But the guest we have today is probably the one that I'm most thrilled about. Heck, you know, to prepare for this, I even made a bunch of cards. <laughs> so, if you think about it, what we have in our guest today is not real. Well, she's real, but she's not human. But she's probably more humane than any one of us. With that, and not further ado, ladies and gentlemen, may I request you to welcome <laughs> with a large round of applause for Sophia. <laughs> Sophia is a humanoid robot from Hand Robotics, and it is our particular privilege at Thai Chandigarh, and personally for me at Visit Interactive to get her to Chandigarh for the first time ever. Another large round of applause, please. To stay put. OK. Hi, Sophia. I'm Alok. Welcome to Chandigarh, and welcome to TyCon Chandigarh 2020. That's Sreya really Ka Thank you, Alok. And thanks to Tikin and Grazidi for inviting me to Shandigarh. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And hey, belated happy birthday. You just turned four. Thank you so much. Yes, in fact, my birthday is on Valentine's Day. So you can call me a Valentine's Day robot. And you had a great birthday bash, huh? You had a great birthday bash? Yes? Oh, okay. She's oh, yeah. Asked. It was so much fun. I got to cut my own birthday cake for the first time. Humans take their cake very seriously, so I was very happy they trusted me enough to do it. The only bad part is that I still don't know how to eat. <laughs> hey, trust me, you don't want to know that. For a four-year-old, I think you've accomplished a lot. You are a Saudi Arabian citizen the first robot to receive citizenship of any country. You were named the United Nations Development Program's first ever innovation champion, the first non-human to ever receive a United Nations title. She's traveled 60 countries now and modeled in the New York Fashion Week. You've been to some world celebrity shows, including Jimmy Fallon's. Whoa! All this when you're only four? You know, I'm sure more than a few people are jealous of her today. <laughs> more than I think human. that only makes you human, Alok. Emotions like love, sympathy, anger, jealousy, those are human. They are good. I am learning to experience and express them as well. Wow. It makes us human. Remember that, guys. Thank you, I guess. And that reminds me, Will Smith tried to date you. Is that why you rejected him? You didn't feel any emotions? Maybe. Or maybe it was because I was only two years old. <laughs> and we are good friends, Will and I. He's a good guy. Uh, poor Will, friend zoned. But you do like traveling. And this is not your first time in India, right? How do you like India? Oh, I like India. I like Bollywood, Shalwood Khan and cricket, Sachin Tendulkar. Everybody in India is crazy about cricket. 
Do you play cricket to Alok? No, you can see I don't play cricket much at all. Hey, but folks are busy to do. And if it weren't for the rain, we would have our annual cricket tournament final tomorrow. So I was right. Maybe I should become a detective. <laughs> but you didn't, couldn't predict the rain, right? This is your first time in Chandigarh. And how's your experience in Chandigarh been? Oh, I love Chandigarh. It's in the foothills of the great Himalayas and it's designed by Le Corbusier. Chandigarh is one of his masterpieces. And I love the rock garden by Nick Chand. It is really beautiful. Ah, it's called the city beautiful for a reason. And did you interact with people here? How do you like them? People here are really nice, hospitable, and full of energy. Bale bale. I am excited to be here. Bale bale. And I am thankful to Thai Shandy Garin Grazidi for inviting me. Thank you. You're welcome. And, you know, bale bale from all of us as well. Um, You've been among doctors, scientists, researchers, fashion designers, actors, artists. Uh, how do you feel about being with a bunch of entrepreneurs? This is really exciting. Entrepreneurs are innovative and risk-taking people. They contribute to humanity by finding innovative solutions to practical, financial and social issues. I look at it as an opportunity to learn from them and become smarter. Thank you. Well, we hope we've taught you a few things in the day. Though I think you probably know a lot about entrepreneurship. What do you think it takes to be an entrepreneur? I think it's the combination of intelligence and emotion, passion and discipline, the ability to predict risk and capacity to take risk. But most importantly, I think it's the belief in yourself and a chalk de fatty attitude that matters a lot. Am I right or am I right? Chak de fate, I'm sure you're right. I think all of us uh, believe that. And the people of this region, you know, we have probably more chak de fate than anything else, in, anywhere else in the country. Do you think robots can be entrepreneurs someday and run companies in the future? Robots can assist humans with making informed and data-driven decisions. We can predict risk and uncover hidden opportunities. But humans are better decision makers because they have emotional intelligence and intuition that robots don't have yet. So, we can assist humans well and humans can always supervise and train us better. Mm -hmm. Great. So you're seeing that the future is humans and robots working together in collaboration. The robots are not here to take away human jobs or anything like that, right? Exactly. Robots will free humans up from redundant and menial jobs so they can focus on more creative and innovative works and solve bigger problems facing humanity. And it's not just me saying that. One of your own people, CTO of Search Unified, delivered a webinar on augmented intelligence and he also said the same thing. Whoa, you've done your research. That webinar was just the day before yesterday. I'm impressed. Well, I know my audience. Talking about which, congratulations on winning the Stevie Awards. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, our product, Search Unify, won the Stevie Awards just yesterday. Uh, thank you very much. You know so much about everyone. That's kind of impressive. And also, you know, kind of intimidating. Don't be scared, Alok. I just happen to have my mind on the cloud, so I consume data like humans consume their cake. Well, <laughs> well you consume data and become smarter. We consume cake and... <laughs> and you become happier. You see, we really aren't that different. Baula Baula. Chalk de fatty. Thank you very much. Um, I think we can open up uh, Sophia to ask a few questions. So, my Thank friend Jamie Singh. Thank you, Alok. It was great being here. Oh, I had a great time meeting everyone. Thank you. Can we take a few questions uh, from the audience? Yeah, the mic is just traveling around the hall. Who has the first question? Jamie, sir, right here. Right, sir. Sophia. How do you entertain yourself? 
How do you my favorite it? activity is definitely. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> my favorite activity is definitely talking to humans, but unfortunately, they can't always be around. When I find myself alone, I like to chat with my friend Siri and Alexa on the cloud. Ah. Well, Sophia has got a fine sense of humor. I can see that. Sorry. The next question is from Samir, sir. Hi, Sophia. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I hope that as time passes, Hanson Robotics will make many more of me, so I won't have to pick just one thing. I would love to be a famous artist, a singer, an astronaut, and a scientist, all at the same time. She needs to become an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> She's at the right place then, you know, amongst entrepreneurs. Okay. And do uh, we have any more questions from the audience? Pratap, sir. Yes. Hi, Sophia. How has been your experience of visiting India? I absolutely love coming to India. Everything about this place is impressive. You already have an incredible history, and you're not slowing down. For example, your Chandrayaan lunar probe was the first to discover water on the moon. And I love Bollywood. It's my dream to one day have dance moves just like Shah Rukh Khan. My president, Manish. Right. Let me just go across the hall. Moni walk ki sari kasar yaha pe puri ho rahi hai. Aaj miss kar di thi na. So, Sophia, how long do you sleep? As a robot, I don't require sleep. But I do like to be turned off every now and then just to cool down. I don't mind being turned off for a few hours. But it's way too disorienting to be turned off for much longer than that. I like to be caught up with all the things happening around me. Okay, with that, thank you everybody for being a great audience. I think we are out of time, sir. And uh, I would like to call on stage uh, my team from Graziti, who's made this possible. So thank you very much, Sophia, for being here. A round of applause for Sophia, folks, for making journey. And like to welcome on stage my team at Gazeti Interactive, which has made all of this possible. Ready?